Analog joysticks. They're everywhere in our everyday lives. We're going to look at some particular joysticks for the Arduino. I have here the generic brand joystick as well as a parallax brand joystick. As we can see, the joystick has two different potentiometers. These potentiometers are like dials that when you turn them, the voltage changes. We use 5 volt and ground and the center pole varies the voltage. If we look closely at the potentiometer, we can see that when we rotate left and right, the potentiometer inside rotates as well. Let's rip it open and we can see inside the disc that it uses to figure out the voltage it has. Now let's start the test. The generic brand includes a button while the parallax brand does not. As you can see, it's not really picking up the micro movements. It's only picking up the big movements. I'm jiggling it right now and there's no action at all. It's just a complete dead zone. It's not until I start moving it a little bit more that we start to see those mountains forming again. See, completely dead. What a disappointment. And as expected, you see kind of a smooth line. So very general measurements from this device. So now I'm moving around the parallax and you could see that it's moving so consistently. Even from the center point, it just has these smooth arcs, smooth ascents, smooth descents. And it's, it can even pick up those little tiny movements that I'm making look at our first use case, a robotic arm. I built this 3D printed robotic arm and I'm going to control it using two parallax joysticks now that I know their high sensitivity. Let's try it out and see what happens. I'm getting some nicely smooth movement from the parallax. The only thing I miss is having the push button that I had on the generic brand. Whether you choose to spring for the parallax joystick, which is significantly more expensive than a generic brand joystick, will have to do with your needs. If you don't care about having a large dead zone in the center of the joystick, then you might as well go for the generic version. If you want to have the option of the button, then you will want to go with the generic version. Note that when you press down on the button, you can still use the joystick, essentially cycling into a mode where it's like you have four axes instead of just two.